Hello, I'm Marine. Welcome back to Moderation Wall Meets Fred Game. And we're continuing our viewer request week, where we do a video each day based on your suggestions. Ever since our Irma videos became so popular, we've been repeatedly asked to do another webcomic. But every time someone would ask this, they would never seem to have any idea of which one to pick. And due to the volume of these requests, I'm stepping in and declaring dealer's choice. So today we'll be looking at another webcomic on Tepes. And the one that I've chosen is called. Nini's Bedtime Stories, by Inogrant. I think that's how you pronounce that. A wonderful collection of short stories about the unknown and the things that live there. But enough talking about it, let's start it off. It doesn't like being alone. So, it knocks at the door at night. I'm scared. It taps for hours. Did I lock the door? Help me. It says, but it's a trick. Are you there? Don't be. I'm here now. This comic embodies the old saying, is it what's in the darkness that scares us? Or is it just what you think it is? Pick one. What game is this again? This is the wonderful duality of this webcomic. Several great stories, which are kind of diffused at the last moment. So depending on how you read it depends on what you get out of it. But we're going to cover the major story arcs and help you enjoy them. It's late. The sun goes down. And the dogs are barking. They start whenever I pass by the window. Though, maybe they don't like me. But we always play together in the mornings. They bark and bark at me. Though, maybe they don't recognize me in the dim light of dusk. But I was wrong. It was a warning. The dogs are barking at the thing behind me. Please don't sneak up on me. I will try. Let's take a stroll, for it's that time of year again, when the spirits wander reminiscing, and we wear costumes to hide from monsters. Or so they say. Hi there, aren't you just a d- But, I guess. Hey, you're the new neighbor's kid. Yeah? Can I ask you a favor? I have a gift for their anniversary, but I'm going to be out of town. Can you pick it up tomorrow before I leave? Sure. Real monsters can't hide themselves as well. Great. But, don't tell anyone. It's a surprise. Until tomorrow. We remember. We see you. Can we stay here? Yeah, sure, why not? Woo! When cold seeps through the bones, and there's a scratching noise at the end of the hallway, I look up, only to find the old man by the window. He stares for a while and then climbs up the wall. His footsteps are loud on the ceiling. Or is it the attic? Thud. He starts towards me, a dreadful sound coming from that burlap sack. Meanwhile, the old man at the window just laughs. Are you hurt? No, youngling. I've had worse falls. Thanks for the gift. For you and yours, my friend. There is a room, you know, that room. The one that never seems to be quite lit up entirely. A room where a whispering giggle is heard, and a clicky clack coming from the dark corner room floor, 
where the light dares not touch. Weary of the dark, I move through the room, feeling a stare on the side of my face, listening to the patter patter of shards hitting the ground. Inching closer, my sight adjusts to the gloom, seeing the little pieces shattered on the floor, and the clicky clack of little eyes as they chase me through the dim space. The eyes of the doll on the dark corner room floor. Stop moving. No, this is my house. You don't even fit there. Here's another piece. Have a seat. Allow me to tell you a story of the three brothers. Triplets, in fact. And they were each other's best friends. And they loved Hallow's Eve with devotion. Not once did they miss trick-or-treating. This proved to be their demise. For one year, they stumbled upon a less-than-kind person and went missing themselves. As they were lured and locked underground, caged by a monster in a mask. Afraid, cold, and sad, the brothers felt the hours pass. Where they remained and sat brooding and plotting. I wish we were bigger. I wish we were fearsome. I wish we were stronger. But their wishes went unheard. And one by one, they were taken away, never to be seen again. Or so they thought, for they were no longer confined. The brothers met again in a darker place, immediately relieved to be together once more, and as they finally became what they wished they were, just waiting for the best Hallow's Eve yet to come. Did they live happily ever after? They were happy ever after, yes. After a long day, and it being almost bedtime, I find myself utterly alone this somber evening. In spite of this feeling, this feeling of presence at the top of the stairs, as if someone was waiting just at the other end of the stairs. However, my eyes see no one, nothing. It is just a sensation that will go away as it happens. It grows heavier the nearer I draw. Should I cease? Since my sight cannot be trusted. But I wonder if touch can still be relied on, if this presence is there, with a slight breath, right there, on the tip of my fingers, right here. Here, wear this so we don't bump into you. We're back. Turn around, we're going out for more candy. On a cold, rainy, windy night, there is a roar just before lightning strikes. Like a brief morning light, the boom of thunder throughout the sky as loud, deep, resonating sound. The thunder creeps upon the town's borders. No need to worry, honey. It's just a sound. But no one knows what really lurks under the moon and between the clouds. Shuddering skin and trembling glass Animals hide, for they know what roams. Through the cover of fog, thunder, pounding, crashing, with lurking eyes, far above the ground. Are all people dare to hear, they laugh and sneer at those who fear. If only they knew the fright they would feel, at how very real is what disappears amidst the foggy, unclear sky, if only, if only they knew that they ought to fear, for thunder booms, illuminated by the brief lightning strikes. It's here, it's near. Would you mind? I'm trying to sleep. There are rumors of people that face a crossroads, to have their wishes granted, or such whispers say, of the crossroads dweller. Bitters of fortune, it is told, 
The Dweller will guide a mortal on which road to trial. The way that will seal their fate. An unknown fortune at the end of the lane. The stories say that, on the fourth day of the fourth month, on the verge of 4 a.m., the one who dwells at the crossroads shall emerge. Yet, the dweller must remain unseen. Why? It is most unsure. Many whispers light the way. But above all of them, a compelling tone of tranquility. Avert your gaze and take my hand. I will guide you through the haze. A sense of peace and the ease of reaching in the days. A grasp, a hard tug, yet avoiding the gaze so as to not glimpse. That which clutches in a vice, the bruising grasp as needles searing flesh. The tale tells of the dweller that will desire a single query, a single doubt. What is the fate of my life? If dared ask in a whisper shake of a moan, the outcome of mortals is perpetually dull. Your deceasing awaits at the end of the road. In a single moment, either a mistake of a glance or the blunder of heeding tales of wonder. To begin with, none will ever know. Take my hand, child, and I don't even try it. Are we still on for Tuesday's tea? Yeah. See you then. What? They just killed me! Was that not your own fault? How could you say that? Stop following me. You gotta help me. I can't go away. Come on, seriously, stop. Sadly, as of doing these recordings, they haven't posted a new one since around December of last year. But this does seem to be a side project, so it does pop up occasionally. They started a new one called Earth Day, but they've yet to actually have the proper conclusion. So, I'll wait till we get another one. Again, this one can also be found on Tapest if you like to read it yourself. But, that about wraps it up. Anyway, post below down in the comments of any other ideas you'd like to see you made into a video, and we'll add them to our next video request week. It's now time for the part of the show, where we ask you to help us appease the YouTube algorithm by dropping a like, share, or comment. It helps out much more than you'd think. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then it's very much appreciated. And if you'd like to support this channel, then please visit our Patreon. Link will be down in the description below. Well, we're almost done with this week's videos, so we'll see you in our last one tomorrow. Anyway, I'm Runya. And I'm Ada. Remind you take life in moderation. Weep not for children, for life is this way. Murdering beauty and passion.